damn weird. Spirits. With the Egyptian Ankh glyph, it symbolizes the soul and spirit reuniting after death. There's a widespread belief in ghosts in ancient Egyptian culture. The Hebrew Bible contains few references to ghosts associating spiritualism with forbidden occult activities as of uh, Deuteronomy 18.11. The most notable reference is in the first book of Samuel, 28.3 to 19, in the King, King James Version, in which a disguised King Saul as the witch of Endor summoned the spirit, or ghost, of Samuel. Usually a point there I do want to state is it is referring to the soul and the spirit as two separate things. Soul and spirit were believed to exist after death with the ability to assist or harm the living and the possibilities of a second death. Over a period of more than 2,500 years, Egyptian beliefs about the nature of the afterlife evolved constantly. Many of these beliefs were recorded in hieroglyph inscriptions, papyrus scrolls, and tomb paintings. The Egypt Book of the Dead compiles some of the beliefs from different periods of ancient Egypt's history. In modern times, the fanciful concept of a mummy coming back to life and wrecking vengeance when disturbed has spawned a whole genre of horror stories and films. In the New Testament, according to Luke 24, 37 to 39, following his resurrection, Jesus was forced to persuade his disciples that he was not a shade. Some version of the Bible, such as King James Version and New King James Version, use the term spirit. Similarly, Jesus' followers at first believed he was a spirit when they saw him walking on water. The term returned to vogue in 1853 when the popular song Spirit Wrappings was published. Spiritualism was an object of intense curiosity. Spiritualism is a monotheistic belief system or religion postulating a belief in God, but with a distinguishing feature of belief that spirits of the dead or residing in the spirit world can be contacted by mediums who can then provide information about the afterlife. So like basically as science grew, it became harder for people to see religion and its many myths. So kind of a in-between version is where this fell. A little bit of faith, a little bit of science, Spiritualism developed in the United States and reached its peak growth in membership from around 1840s to the 1920s, especially in the English language countries. By 1897, it was said to have more than 8 million followers in the United States and Europe, mostly drawn from the middle and upper classes, while the corresponding movement in continental Europe and Latin America is known as Spiritism. Not Spiritualism. Spiritism. This religion flourished for half a century without canonical text or formal organizations, attaining cohesion by periodicals, tours by trance lecturers, camp meetings, and missionary activities of accomplished mediums. Many prominent spiritualists were women. Most followers supported courses and causes such as the abolition of slavery and women's suffrage. By the 1880s, the credibility of this informal movement weakened due to accusations of fraud among mediums and formal spiritualistic organizations began to appear. Spiritualism is currently practiced primarily through various denominations, which are spread out through the United States and the United Kingdom. Spiritism or French spiritualism is based on the five books of spiritist codification written by French educator Havelite Leon Denizard Revelle under the pseudonym Alan Kardec.
reportedly seances in which he observed a series of phenomena that he attributed in incorporeal intelligence spirits. His assumption of spirit communication was validated by many contemporaries, among them many scientists and philosophers who attended the seances and studied the phenomena. His work was later extended by writers such as Leon Dennis, Arthur Conan Doyle, Camille Flammarion, Ernesto Bazzarano, Chico Xavier, Divinaldo Vieira Franco, Waldo Vieira, Johann Greber, and as well as some others. Spiritism has inherent in many countries throughout the world, including Spain, United States, Canada, Japan, Germany, France, England, Argentina, Portugal, and especially Brazil, which has the largest proportion and the greatest number of followers. My main question on this is to why people churn to the dead for answers. Unless it is about something that that person would have known before their death, dying would not make them all knowing. You have a better chance by asking your grandparents. This type of ghost more depends upon the medium than the original being. Like when you call someone on the phone, are they there? Or it's just a representative of their voice. You don't actually hear your voice, you hear the electronic signals and it translate that sound into something your ears can understand, your mind can perceive. The medium is the phone. So, thank you, and have a nice day.